What up, homies? Welcome back, Conspiracy University. All right, I got a short one here for y'all. It's uh, not, nothing too, uh, too serious, but I think y'all would, you know, find this rather interesting. And, you know, based on the opinions that I have already about Mars, as far as Mars and, you know, the red planet, this kind of, you know, validates a little bit of my, uh, the, of the thoughts that I've already had. So personally, I believe that Mars has already been, uh, I've already, I believe that there's been, been things on Mars already for a long time, right? And uh, they've just been trying to hide it from us. They haven't told us. But that's just me, y'all, my opinion. But nonetheless, let me read this article here for y'all. Orbiter discovers significant amounts of water in Grand Canyon, in Grand Canyon-like area of Mars. A researcher orbiting, a researcher orbiter circling around Mars has discovered significant amounts of water underneath the surface of an area on the red planet similar to the Grand Canyon, according to the European Space Agency. The orbiter, the ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter, was launched by the European Space Agency along with the Russian Space Agency in 2016 and has been orbiting Mars ever since, with the goal of learning more about the gases and the possibility of life on the planet. Recently, the orbiter was scanning an area of Mars called the, Val the Valley's Mar Marineris, Using the Fine Resolution Epithermal Neutron Detector Instrument, or FRIEND, which can detect hydrogen on and up to three feet underneath Mars's soil. The Valles Marineris is a 2,500-mile-long canyon on Mars with parts that are four miles deep. Not only is it ten times longer and four times deeper than the Grand Canyon, but the Valles Marineris, but the Valles Marineris, Marineris length is nearly as long as the entire data. Is oh, I'm sorry is nearly as long as the entire United States. So, that's big, y'all. That's, that's, a, that's a, a Grand Canyon the size of the United States up there. And they found lots of water on it. Data collected from the instrument from May 2018 to February 2021 showed the middle part of the canyon contained a large amount of water, indicating some form of life could possibly be sustained. I repeat, Data collected from the instrument from May 2018 to February 2021 showed the middle part of the canyon contained a large amount of water, indicating some form of life could possibly be sustained. The findings were published in the Solar System Journal, Chorus, on Wednesday. We found a central part of the Valles Marineris to be packed full of water, far more water than we had expected, Alex Malikov, co-author of the study and part of the Russian Academy of Sciences, said in a statement. Water being found on Mars isn't a new discovery, as the planet's polar regions are full of water ice that is frozen. Temperatures in this region are so cold that even carbon dioxide can freeze. However, the Valles Marineris is located near the equator of the planet, where temperatures usually aren't cold enough to have water ice. Igor Mitrofanov, lead author of the study and principal investigator of the Friend from Russian Academy of Sciences, said the instrument allowed the team to discover things no other instrument could ever before. We can look down to three feet below this dusty layer and see what's really going on below Mars's surface and, crucially, locate water-rich oasis that couldn't be detected with previous instruments. Mitrofenov said, assuming the hydrogen we see is bound into water molecules, as much as 40% of the near-surface material in this region appears to be water. That's a lot, y'all. Sounds like a little Earth over there. Or a big Earth. The area of water, which the agency says is about the size of the Netherlands, was detected because the instrument looks for neutrons of the soil. Malikov said this method shows there are less neutrons in wetter soil, and seeing distinct levels of neutron content allows scientists to see water features that weren't spotted before. Scientists are unsure whether the detected water is ice or water bound to the soil, but Alexei said it's most likely an ice form similar to the permafrost found throughout the Arctic region. I repeat, similar to the permafrost found throughout the Arctic region. Hakan Svedom, co-author and former project scientist for the ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter, said the team must now discover what type of water is in the spoil. The ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter isn't the only object trying to get more understanding on Mars. The NASA Perseverance rover collected its first rock sample from the planet in September that is expected to come back to Earth. In October, the rover collected recordings of what Mars sounds like. Next year, the European Space Agency will send the 
Rosalind Franklin rover and Russian surface platform Kazakok to Mars, which is expected to reach the planet in 2023. Those devices will work together to collect underground samples of Mars to look at what the planet was like in its early life, and if life ever existed on it. All right, y'all, so a couple things here I want y'all to uh, take away from this, all right? One is the European Space Agency, all right? So um, it's worth a look, all right, y'all? The European Space Agency is a... Uh, it's worth a look into, all right? And another thing, if they're telling us this now, all right, they're letting us know all this stuff now. I can almost guarantee that they have known this for a very long time, probably before I was born, right? I'm 33. So they probably knew all this stuff already before I was born. So they're telling us now, no telling what they got. They probably got a whole block party going on up there in Mars, right? They just chucking and jiving up there, having a good old time. But as always, y'all, I appreciate every single one of y'all who come over here and rock with me. Eyes open out there, homies. Stay safe.